And again, this is a little bit tricky and I need to uh, compartmentalize. Um, you know, like obviously people has to be able to compartmentalize. They don't need to be compartmentalized. They need to be able to. So um, between whether or not it's appropriate and whether or not there are any well-meaning, reasonable aspects of what you could represent as good, like what you can agree with as being reasonable, you will find them in anything that even that we know is bad, or you will find aspects of uh, um, in, of uh, inequitousness, like in things that we know of is good, or even to find out that is just a deteriorated form of something else that, and then whatever that other thing is hails at is not is going to be something that you would be like, damn, like. That is like the last thing we need, but there is some aspect of it that worked. So like, um, there is in the, at least in the collegiate university, uh, venue, there's appropriate, um, uh, incorporations for like incorporate I'm using a bunch of big words there's appropriate venues or is it like s classes I guess so you have classes where they teach uh, you know rhetoric and solipsism uh, what is it solipsism and uh uh, semantics those are solipsism and semantics is like yeah, like man missed me with all that <laughs> but the, uh, there is reasonable aspects that would work without the human uh, uh, corruptibility for globalism communism fascism Fabian uh Hegelian uh yeah um like for example you know, like a, you can have a Marxist sweepstakes business model for a blockchain company or something that wants to do customized shopping with a casino or something like like that, similar to Publishers Clearinghouse, but verifiably uh, immutable and transparent, like a blockchain. It's just that there's gonna be a lot of fakes and then there's gonna be, because there's so much interest in one, there's gonna be a couple that that are set up the right way to make a shift through like a osmosis, you know, over to more decentralized validator. Decentralized autonomous organization. Space forces. <laughs> You'd be like, that's not space force. Well, why would you think that those vague, overarching legislators that are afraid of encryption are going to be direct about a new seal, like a new form of a seal? You know, since if you follow the if you follow history, 
the seal it used to be a stamp wax or something but uh then it was a a, a stamp <clears throat> you know and uh or you know something that was like said that this hasn't been opened nobody's seen this it's for your eyes only kind of thing it could have military implications so like a root seed text hash id from a directed acyclic graph could improve things like that or a seal similar to like blue check mark it could it, and of course quantum computing is trying to catch up so if you think about quantum compute quantum t computing is uh gonna involve is a race between the directed acyclic graph and the technology for trying to unravel and solve solving to be able to mimic that you know to so be able to look at uh exotic sensitive information and then put it back together like nobody's seen it yet you know what i mean to be able to do all you know it's just stealing intellectual and pro information so when the government's talking about space force and the race for the ai and shit like that they're not talking about outer space they're talking about the space what's good for the space the space is they're not why would we talk about space we're talking about the space why the fuck would we ever talk about some fucking sending machines out into space you're not going to get them back it could turn to space junk why would it matter what but then again you know they got people like believing that mike pence has a better idea than they do about encryption and you're about to lose emails and shit. Like you're about, you're gonna have to dox yourself to a verification bot capture. And capture boxes are fucking stupid. So you just have the precedent of having to give your credit, credit information to a verification service that employs advanced capture boxes to be able to qualify you're not a bot. And then they can fucking go under or whatever. They probably just wanted to grift your information because uh, it's uh, verifiable enough for you to ask around and people, everybody trusts it. And yeah, man, come on. You know what I mean? Like, you're the one that's weird because you don't want to. You're missing out. I don't know. Who knows who what's missing out on what until they, and they might sabotage the whole community in the whole space temporarily and then put set it back to when they have the fed now shit fed now one day one day after cash app ceo gets uh gets murdered probably it's probably a hit probably a hit just like Seth Rich, they just send some fucking stupid vice lords or something like this.